Wolverhampton Wanderers are a club with no less than four FA Cups to their name. And we've come to meet with members of the women's football team and their manager, Dan McNamara. They're going to test out our football training tech to see which they would recommend for up and coming football legends. And talking of legends, John's up first with team captain Anna Price, who's been playing for the Wolves for 22 years. These are the Adidas GMR insoles. They collect data on your running speed, your shot power, your distance travelled, your number of kicks, and they sync that data with an app on the smartphone. Before putting the insoles in your boots, you've got to insert the Google-powered Jacquard Tag, a tiny computer which detects your physical movements and sends that info to the app via Bluetooth. First things first, do they feel comfortable? Yeah, they're comfortable. They're nice and spongy and soft. Well, uh, well shall we give them a try? Yeah, definitely. OK, let's go. Given I'm more walking boots than football boots, Dan set up a training drill for Anna to see how well the insoles can capture her playing data. Save me. <laughs> <laughs> Fully charged, the Jacquard tag should last for about three 90-minute matches. It records your performance data and syncs up to the app after your game or training. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Dan? Do you think this uh, data could be useful? Yeah, I think the way the world has gone, not just football nowadays, I think data's become a massive part of everything that we're doing. But what does Anna think? So, Anna, your top ball speed was 74.1 kilometres an hour, top running speed 12.8 kilometres an hour, kick count five. I mean, is that useful information? Yeah, it's, it's really handy to know, you know, how many touches you have, how many maybe in a game, how many passes, looking at how, you know, hard you can kick the ball in a competitive game or in training, it would be a good indication of, you know, how involved maybe you've been in the game. Not bad, John, but next up is my turn, and I've got a bit of tech that promises to help goalkeeper Millie Connors to stop the ball hitting the back of the net. So, Millie and Dan, I've got blaze pods for you. Now, I'm sure you guys are very familiar with training with cones. These are like a really super techie version of your average cone. In a pack, you get six, and they link up to an app via Bluetooth. So, I thought maybe, Millie, as you're a goalkeeper, would get you doing a quick reaction Tappy thingy on the floory thingy, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next Jurgen Klopp, I am not. Thankfully, though, the Blaze Pods app has lots of drills available. Not only does it tell you where to place the pods, but it also controls how quickly they flash and in which order, meaning you can increase the difficulty as your skills improve. So, the aim of this one is that, Millie, you're going to be standing in the centre and that's going to light up red. And when they light up blue, you've got to run over, tap it with your foot and then run back again. OK, three, two, one, go. And she's off. This tap-out drill is designed to improve your reactions, which is crucial to a goalkeeper like Millie. The pods are weatherproof and durable, which means Millie can give them a good old whack. She's quick. She is, yeah. I'm also getting the data. So not only do you get um, how many hits that that particular player's got, um, you've got your average reaction time as well. So if you're doing it week after week, you can see if they're progressing or not. You can see how one teammate compares to the rest. Yeah. You've got all that data inside the app. Two seconds, one. Oh, it's behind you! <laughs> well done, though. That was nine hits. Really good. So this is obviously one out of many, many different um, activities that you could do. do you, can you imagine using this in training sessions? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I think it reaction, especially for goalkeepers like Millie. Do you think it would help you when it comes to saving goals? Yeah, definitely. It's good when the, the ones that are behind you, it's kind of like when you're sort of looking for a cross and you're constantly having to look behind, see what players are coming in. So it's fairly realistic. Very good, Georgie. But if you want to be the next Megan Rapino or Lionel Messi, you can't be playing about with lights all day. You need a ball. This is called dribble up and you have a football and it takes advantage of existing hardware on your smart device, mainly the camera. And to see if my tech can uh, <laughs> keep you up with John and George's, I'm enlisting the help of star midfielder Tammy George. As soon as the clock starts, you just follow along, making sure you keep the ball within the green circles. The Dribble Up ball has unique markings which allow the app to keep track of it in real time using the camera on your device. Bit wider. 
The app has hundreds of training programs for all levels. And if that's not enough, you can subscribe for £10 a month to get access to live and on-demand classes conducted by Dribble Up Coaches. A bit weak on her left foot, <laughs> isn't she? I've noticed there. <laughs> In this particular training drill, the green circles act as static targets to improve your ball control and speed. Dribble Up is compatible with iOS 10 and Android 7 or above, and even comes with a stand to put your device on. Here we are. You get instant feedback on your achievements, and you can also earn coins from your performance to help unlock other levels. So it's always watching, always pushing you and promoting you to do better. The other really good thing about this is you don't need a lot of space, so there are really no excuses when it comes to training at home. Yeah, it's a good bit of technology. Definitely see how it can improve the, the technical ability of the players. Yeah, it's good. It's got your tempo rising, and you've got targets to hit, so you can tell if you've improved or you've got worse. <laughs> And with that goes the final whistle. But which bit of tech will manage a damn pick? I was impressed by all, all three. I think your inner souls provide some really valuable data for the players. Obviously, the Blaze pods were, were fantastic for different reactions for, for goalkeepers and, and for outfield players. I think the football Otis was, you know, really good for technical skills. But the winner for me. was the Blaze Pods. Yes, a win to the Blaze Pods. That's your recommendation. Thank you, Dan.